Hi everyone, welcome to my second Lo-Fi ASMR Soft Spoken Shop With Me vlog. If you are new, my name is Krishna and I am behind Fox City ASMR. I do no talking Lo-Fi ASMR first person Shop With Me videos and I recently decided I would upload a soft spoken version as well. If you would like to see the no talking version of this video, I will leave that link in the description down below as well as in the comments. For my existing viewers, hello again. Thank you so much for coming back and checking this second soft spoken video. I'm going to try to come up with a schedule of when I will be uploading. Hopefully more often, I'm just figuring out as I'm having trouble with my editing app. I film and edit on my iPhone 11, so that is why sometimes it takes a little bit longer to upload. I did just buy a storage drive so that I can be able to do more videos and able to store those videos aside so that I can later at uh, a future date make compilations of those videos together. That way I could do like a two hour or a four hour or even a longer video of all my videos combined. Let me know if that's a good idea. Do you think I should do that? Because currently I'm filming on my iPhone 11, like I've said before, and I don't have that much storage, so I have to delete as I go, right? Uh, so I, unfortunately I don't have the first videos that I made anymore, unless here on YouTube, but I do have the last two, I believe, so I could continue to save them on the USB drive, and then that way I can make a really long video, which I really, really want to do. I know sometimes 20 minutes, 30 minutes is not enough, so I definitely want to make longer videos and because I really don't want to be in the grocery store for hours on end I can't just be walking around aimlessly for three hours in there so putting it all together I think that would be a really good idea let me know I'm, I'm just rambling so as I stated in my last subspoken video my Safeway is going through a huge change they're renovating everything they put in new freezers uh, new fridges they're changing like the cereal aisle that was like on aisle i don't know two is now on like aisle 14. everything's kind of flipped around i believe there's new management so they're trying to get rid of a lot of things and put in new products on the shelves instead of having just this 50 percent discount section they have one two three they have four more like this with like the same products and also uh, snacks and dry goods and things like that and then they also have one in the bread section the, the leftover bread from the day before or the things that they overdid it in the morning usually sometimes they'll over bake or they'll send them a little bit of extra for the day that might go bad at the end of the day so they'll just put it in the discount section it's one of my favorite areas to check, especially if I go early in the morning. And right here in a few seconds, really quick, one of my favorite parts to check file. It's just too good to talk through, so enjoy.
goodness because I do edit at night, usually after my kids have fallen asleep. I tend to fall asleep sometimes editing these videos because I have to go back. I cut a clip, adjust it so that it transitions to the next clip, and then I rewind and see how it flows through, and then I do it again over and over and over again. Sometimes a video that is 30 minutes at the end after editing probably took me about four hours because of the whole going back and forth, back and forth, and I want to make sure that it goes through, so I'm going to see this video. I'm not just going to edit and upload it and not pay attention. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I, after seeing the whole thing together, don't want that piece at the beginning. Maybe at all, you know? And yes, I did get this Paw Patrol straight cheese for my kids. They didn't really care that they were on the packaging. They just wanted the cheese. It doesn't really matter. And now I know. So now I won't pay an extra like, dollar for less cheese simple, simply because there is a cartoon on the packaging. I ended up getting the large bag of mozzarella cheese. Um, we do pizza night. I go to Trader Joe's and I get pizza dough there. And we make about three or four different types of pizzas. It was also on sale as well. And because we are going to use it for quesadillas and some other things too during the week. This one, actually, this one actually probably lasts us about two weeks or maybe longer. It really all depends. Every week is different. This time around for one of the pepper, one of the, probably two of the pizzas are gonna have pepperonis, but one is gonna be caramelized onions, mushrooms, and pepperoni with a red sauce. And I think the other one is gonna be, don't laugh at me, but pepperonis and anchovies with caramelized onions as well. And then the other two, we're just gonna see what we come up with. Now this oat milk I got for free through the Safeway app. I've never had this brand before, but it was really, really good. Especially if you shake the container really hard before you pour it. It was really good. I got the vanilla here. But I definitely recommend it. It's something I'm going to have to buy again. Because I was pleasantly surprised of how creamy and delicious it was. If you don't already know, Safeway has a Safeway Rewards card where you can actually get discounts and, you know, buy one get one free deals and things like that. And sometimes when you download the app, it actually gives you free items every once in a while. So I had that oat milk and I also had this A2 uh, regular cow's milk for free on the app. It's one of those things, sometimes you'll get like two or three items at the same time which is pretty cool. This one, I'm lactose intolerant, so this one I did not try, but everybody else enjoyed it. But both were really good, surprisingly good. And just in case you were curious, I also leave all the information down in the description. I put all the different apps that I use every single time I come shopping or we go shopping together. I can never decide. They all look so good that I always end up getting the caramel macchiato. I should try a different one. Do you like the coffee creamer in your coffee in the mornings? I also add it to some teas as well, depending on what mood I'm in, in case you were wondering. Creme brulee and the caramel macchiato are probably my two favorite of all the different flavors they have at my local Safeway. Now the water section is in a really noisy area. It's right by the meat department, but it's also right by the wine, so it's usually always getting stocked up because it, well, it's also by the hard liquor as well. So they have all the regular water and the electrolyte water and the flavored regular water. The sparkling water is in a different aisle, but this one is where all the regular water is. And again, it's right by all the meat department area and it's very noisy because of all the old fridges there. They are changing the fridges. They've changed the fridges on the other
other side and hopefully soon we'll change the fridges on this side and maybe I'll go back and check out the entire water section in more detail. Those were actually really good. I really enjoyed them, especially the cucumber mint one was really good. These are finally back in stock. My daughter loves these, especially with oatmeal. So we mix it in together, maybe add a couple of pieces of a type of fruit, especially for the mornings. I also get these for donation as well. Whenever they're on sale, I try to stock up. I get a couple for my daughter, a couple for donation. They're also very easy to transport the other little packages that they have in the little either glass jars or in the little plastic containers. Sometimes I've had a couple of them break inside the bag and then it causes a big old mess and I walk home or I take the bus home with all my groceries because I walk everywhere or we take the bus everywhere if we have to, especially during these times when we're doing a lot of walking with a lot of groceries on our backs. I actually ended up putting these two back. Um, and then actually, I got the sweet corn back. My dad didn't like that one very much, but I did put the other box back just because it was carrying a lot and the box just wouldn't fit. <laughs> um, these are really interesting. I'm not sure what for the Lady Gaga Oreos, but unfortunately, they were no longer in my Safeway. So I ended up getting the thin, the thin ones just because I've never had the thin ones. And I, I actually like the chocolate more than I like the filling. So a little bit of both is much better for me personally. Do you like Oreos? Do you have Oreos where you're from? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Oreo, or at least the Oreo brand is worldwide. Kind of like McDonald's or Coca-Cola or something like that. Or do you have your own version of that? Now these Quaker chips or whatever they're called, they were so good. I thought they were going to taste nasty. I thought they were going to taste gross. Oh, they washed away from my day. So usually those types of products don't have a very good flavor to them. But these were really, really, really good. All of them, at least the ones that we've tried. I've tried the caramel ones. Those are my favorite. I love caramel products. The apple cinnamon, my children love the apple cinnamon. I have not tried the cheddar ones or the sour cream. There's other, actually, I looked online and they do have other flavors too, but they don't have at my local Safeway. So I'm definitely excited to try those. But for now, the sweet chili ones are really good. The caramel ones and the apple cinnamon are really good. Because I did film this vlog in two different days. I ended up getting doubles of a couple of items, like right now I see what I'm doing with the bags, and then I went about three or four days later, and I grabbed a couple more bags. <laughs> so this is really good. So this is the first time that I went, and I believe this is the second time a couple of days later. So you can see my cart is completely different. It's earlier it was empty, and now there's magically tons of food in it. But that is again because I feel like two separate occasions. I'm also thinking of doing that too. And instead of coming up with like a 30 minute shop with me, maybe putting two together and coming up with a one hour shop with me, and then a one hour shop with myself spoken. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I'm definitely moving towards longer and more videos. And I definitely think that that's going to happen, especially now that the kids are going back to school and I will have a little bit more time to edit and voice over and do all the different things that come behind the scene. I grabbed a couple of walnuts. I got a small pack because my son wanted to do some baking, so we decided to do some brownies and half of those ended up with lots of walnuts on top. For some reason when I was younger, I hated walnuts on brownies, but now it's kind of a favorite thing. It's really interesting how our palate changes every few years. 
saying that it better fly. We should try and things that we didn't like seven years ago again because our palate changes and sometimes we might taste something we didn't like before and completely love it now. A lot of the times I have these adult moments where I'm just like, all this time I'm cooking and cooking something that I chose not to enjoy because I thought I was not going to like it. I hate moments like that. Do you have moments like that? Now I just try it. The only thing I really don't like is eggplant. Do you like eggplant? I just don't like the texture. It's not good for me. I do so like it. What are those things you know? Like find out something thing. What's something that you don't like to sell that you've actually tried a few times in your lifetime that you were just like, no, I don't like it. Ooh, you don't sell crackers at all. I love those. The soft crackers are one of my favorites. I love getting them. Out. So, right now these racks are all over Safeway because they are again changing everything. They had all these products and all these racks, so it was pretty fun to go through all of them. Have you tried these crispy sea salt gluten free crackers? I've never tried them before, but I have been seeing them advertised everywhere. They are everywhere at least. Maybe because I do these videos are advertised, but I find them everywhere. So I've tried them. I might grab a bag next time I'm there. I have more footage in this section, but there's two people having this really loud conversation that I figured probably should not end up on the internet. I did end up grabbing a couple of items, but because this conversation was happening while I did that, I ended up cutting that out, like I said earlier, and these are all the items that I grabbed while that conversation was going. I ended up taking my phone and checking out these other products that I normally wouldn't buy. I usually go to Chinatown or Japantown for all my different, you know, Asian items that I like to buy after living in San Francisco for over a decade with such a huge influence and such a huge uh, Asian community and Islander community. You know, you get influenced by your decisions in the market because there's so many delicious, yummy snacks and food everywhere and not just from Asia but from all over the world. It's one of my favorite things about San Francisco is all the food from everywhere because it's so delicious and every day you can walk outside your door and be like, hey, I want to die today. Today I want a certain part of Mexico and today I want a certain part of Italy and so on and so on. This was actually my first time having these puchai gummies. They were really good. They were harder than I thought they were going to be. For some reason I thought they were just going to be like really chewy and just like can't make you have like a lot of saliva kind of chewy but they were rather hard but once you got into them they were really really good so I definitely something I'm going to try again especially now that I'm looking at this footage and I'm seeing they have the smaller packaging too. This egg flour soup I highly recommend it of course the you know handmade from scratch from your favorite Chinese restaurant or you know, from, I don't know, your grandmother or your mother or your father or somebody was much, it's going to be much better than the one in the pre-package like this, but I try to limit my outing, so if I'm coming to Safeway, I don't like to go to Chinatown and shop there, I would rather just get it in one space, so when I do go into Chinatown, I try to get all my groceries there as well. photographs for my thumbnail. I try to organize the part on my way around the different aisles, just kind of so that when I do get all my different items, I can take that photograph and then not have to worry about it. I used to film and completely forget about the thumbnail. In one of my videos, you'll actually see a picture of myself in it from another vlog that I had 
actually recorded a few months back. I had forgotten to take a thumbnail for this specific video, so I ended repurposing an old photograph into this vlog. I think it was vlog juice but for this occasion I just I don't know I just randomly grabbed it just because the aisle was there and again it's not something that I get very often so why not treat yourself and oh yeah here's the other 50% section that I told you about this is another section there's another one across from this one if you kept walking straight past the aisle it would be on the other side of the aisle there's also a frozen section that is 50% off, so I think, I think we show, did I show it in this video or the last video? I think you'll see it in this video, but there is a frozen section. So I usually have only found ice cream there, or you know, like sweet treats and stuff, but I ended up finding some quail, like frozen quail the other day, it was 50% off. I think it was probably the only um, batch that they had, and they probably have or something else to take that space and so they're just trying to get rid of it. I did not get it, but it was really interesting seeing something else other than sweets in that section. Now I did get this poison berry. I love poison berry jelly, ice cream, whatever it is. I love it. We ended up doing a couple of little um, croissants and we added some jam. As you can tell, they're definitely trying to get rid of a lot of products right now. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff, especially the miscellaneous, like gum or little treats here and there, like random mayonnaise with different flavors that aren't mayonnaise flavors. <laughs> there is so many different mayonnaise flavors. Why is there like 30 different types of mayonnaise? Why? There's so many. I do sometimes get the Japanese mayonnaise. That's actually really good, and the sriracha mayonnaise is really good. So I guess there is a purpose for three different types of mayonnaise. Now, right now, it is currently midnight, and I have almost fallen asleep about three times while filming this. Well, not filming this. Uh, doing voiceover because I have to refine and just the ambience of my own videos is making me fall asleep. So I consider that a good sign. I really, really enjoyed making this video. I love making all these videos. I'm still having, well, I'm still struggling with the soft spoken versions, of course. This is my second one. So I am new to this, talking to, to the internet, to you guys. As you can tell, I am nervous. I don't tend to talk this much during the day. So talking for 30 minutes, 45 minutes straight is a little intimidating. So I will ramble on a lot. And if you don't mind, then give this video a thumbs up. This small act of liking the video actually is a huge deal because it, well, a few points. One, it helps me know that you enjoyed the video so that I can continue to make more videos like this. And two, it tells the YouTube algorithm that you like videos like this 
so it will recommend more videos like this to you and if you really don't want to miss my next video because you like this one so much or you love the talking the no talking version go ahead and subscribe would love to have you as a returning viewer again i will be hopefully uploading longer and more of these videos i am committing to uploading a no talking version as well as, as a soft spoken version like this one Sorry, I had to stop. I think one of my favorite parts about these specific bags, especially at the grocery store, is not necessarily the sound it makes when you are moving the bag, but the sounds that it makes after you stop moving the bag, you know, when it's trying to adjust itself or the weight of the bottom inside is trying to adjust itself. It's those little tiny little soft crinkles that I absolutely love. I really, really love this. Again, I am adjusting for the thumbnail photograph again. I tried to take a couple of different photographs throughout the process just in case uh, when I look back I didn't really like the one that I took before or maybe I ended up grabbing a couple of more products that looked a little bit more appealing as a thumbnail photograph. I am trying new things. I am getting things for other people as well. So the items that I'm grabbing are not just for myself. I like going down a list. Sometimes I get things for my neighbors or my roommates or for my brother too. So sometimes I don't know what the item looks like when I go and grab it from the list. And I'm like, ooh. That's gonna look great in the thumbnail photograph. So I end up adjusting it and moving it around a little bit, just you know, for that aesthetic vibe. One of my favorite things about making a list when I go to get my groceries is that I end up forgetting things like the peanut butter. I was about to go into the produce section and just grab the produce and then go home. Well, pay obviously and then go home. And I looked at my list and voila, there it is. We need some peanut butter. So I'm going to grab a couple of those because they are on sale. And this little box of Cheerios is also free from the Safe Rewards card. So I'm telling you, if you have a Safeway or you have one of these big brand stores, maybe a small store, and they offer you a free discount coupon card that they just offer everyone that comes through the door take it it's free they're getting deals through it you're getting free items like that milk at the beginning of the video that the cheerio box there's so many different items that i get for free all the time this box right here of the little betty crocker little gummies that was free I guess you have to it's not free, but it's so good that I have to keep coming back for it every single time now. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab a bag or two because it's such a quick dinner, especially when I can't go again into Chinatown or Japantown. It just gives me all the different flavors that I need at the time that I need it. And especially now that I've got this little mix going on, I get this yaki soda and then I get a little uh, rice ingredient to top it on top get some mushrooms and recently I actually added some spinach to it it is so good it's so good this right here is a product that I highly recommend it is another item that I like to get is the beef liver I love having that for the dinner with some rice some vegetables and caramel onions on top. It's really good. Another free item that I got are these peanut butter cups from the brand Perfect Snacks. I did not get it for free through my Safeway app. I actually got it for free through the Ibotta app. Uh, I had to pay for these specific peanut butter cups. But with my receipt and the barcode on the packaging, I got all of that like $2.99 back. So 
so it ended up being free. I highly recommend if you like saving money like me to download the Ibotta app. I left a link down in the description. Now that is one of the deals that they have. They have a lot of different coupons and a lot of different deals that will be adjusted as you use the app because they will start advertising to you hey you know have this free item on us maybe you'll like it because you bought these other items so check that out if you're interested and uh yay we're finally in the produce section this is probably one of my favorite areas is the produce section i've always liked farmers markets better than coming into a huge store like safeway and getting um, vegetables and fruits and I usually do go to the farmers market again I shop at Chinatown a lot they have a lot of great amazing fresh fruit and produce but because I am trying to minimize all the trips that I'm making I have started to genuinely like Safeway's produce department they have a lot of really cool things I guess you can say I don't know is our vegetables cool but because, again, there's so many different cultures and so many different people from all over the world, sometimes you will find random items that you probably can't find anywhere else because we just have such a huge melting pot here. So it has become one of my favorite areas in the grocery store to come shop, especially when filming these videos. I love the sound. I love how calm this section of the grocery store is. Who knew that vegetables would give such peace of mind? <laughs> oh, here I am trying to adjust all the different items that are going to go with our yakisoba. Another thing that has been helping my daughter tea recently are cucumbers. They are cold, they have a bunch of water in them, perfect for teething. I usually like to grab the little mini cucumbers from Trader Joe's and sometimes I grab them from Safeway but this trip specifically didn't really have great mini cucumbers. A lot of them were a little moldy or about to be moldy so I ended up getting just a regular old cucumber and cutting that up throughout the week. Another great vegetable for teething is green beans. They are really really good especially if you put them in the fridge. They will come out really, really cold and crunchy, and they are perfect for little teethers. This time around, they didn't really have a great selection, but I did grab a couple because I didn't want to go home without any. Again, I don't want to make too many trips. actually really good so I can't complain. <laughs> we ate them all up in about two two days so I definitely have to get more the next time I go shopping. So a couple of days later I ended up going back and getting a couple more mushrooms because just ended up eating them all up because they were so good. And if you've seen the other videos you definitely know these are one of my favorite especially here at Safeway. They also sell in Chinatown, so it's another one that I ended up actually getting in Chinatown first and then because it went so much and I noticed that they had it here, I also grab them here when I when I come to Safeway. Alright, so one of the last things I got on this shopping trip for this bag of Gala apples. I am planning on making a pie. But these apples, I always say I'm going to make a pie, but then we just end up eating them just as snacks. But this time, I am determined to make a pie. <laughs> I'm also grabbing a quick sweet onion or two because I am going to be making those pizzas. And while well, having the sweet onions around is always a plus, especially because I am going to be making that beef liver as well that I completely forgot about. <laughs> And there you go, now I have another meal ready to go in the freezer that I forgot about. 
and last but not least we are gonna get a couple of raisins and i think that is it for today's shopping trip or yeah i think that is it so thank you guys so much for coming along and hearing my rambles about food and just random things i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it soothed i hope it got you to sleep i hope i bored you to sleep i hope i gave you tingles i hope it helped with your studying thank you so much again for coming along and hope to see you guys next time